This image is from the southwestern Central African Republic in the rainforest area. And this was a dance that was to induct another group of Baka into one of the hunting dances called Mabo. I videotaped it because I wanted to analyze it later. I was living with this group of Biaka because I wanted to get to know their music and dance as a learner. I really wanted to understand how the music was working socially, socio-musically, and to be able to try and do it myself. And it took quite a while for me to even understand how it worked. There's so much going on in the music. It's polyphonic, polyrhythmic, a lot of improvisation. Polyphonic means many voices. Polyrhythmic means many rhythms. So you have layers of pulses going on at the same time, like that's two meters at the same time. So you'll have phrases that are based either on one side or the other intermixing. And then there's also yodeling going on within this texture. That's one of the things that really attracted me to Balka music. So it's structured improvisation. That I knew when I went there, but I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know any particular songs. One day when I heard the song that you hear in this video clip... I had heard it many, many times, but could not locate myself in terms of how one would sing along to it. But after that event, I was walking behind a young girl who, with her little brothers and sisters, and she sang out this phrase. A light bulb went off. This is what's anchoring the song. It was a very popular song. It was one of the newer songs, which made it easier for me to get a hold of, because the older songs have even more improvisation. People will have main themes in their ears, but no one will be bothering to articulate it anymore. So all you'll hear are these really elaborate improvisations, and if you don't already know the song, you will just be dazzled, but you won't know what to do. But since this was a somewhat newer song and a somewhat newer dance, people were still articulating some of the main phrases, like that phrase. Back at Don't Count Years, they think in terms of a long time and a short time. So a newer dance would be one that had become popular within the past 20 years or so. This is something that's accelerating because the hunting is getting more difficult. The place is getting hunted out. And because dancing goes with hunting success, people are sort of trying out more and more dances. But that one's not working. Let's try a new one. And these dance forms come up from the south, from the Republic of the Congo.